Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite. Let's crack into another one. TNT. You. I found validation for myself. You found validation? Yeah, I did. Do you feel complete? I mean, no, but this helps complete me a little bit in my boomerisms. So you aren't getting a sex change? <laughs> no, I never was, but nope. yes, I'm still not. Oh, I'm sorry, reassignment surgery. Uh, so there's an article that came out that mm. said... 50% of all smart appliances never get connected to the internet. <laughs> I mean, I believe that. And, yeah. and I was like, and I was like, finally validation. So I jumped into the Reddit comments on this first comment because 99% of them are stupid and have no need to be connected to the internet. <laughs> I feel no need to, of a stove or a fridge or a microwave connected to the internet. So I was like, true. And then I've, I have a, I have a new stove and it's the, on the way. It has all kinds of advertised features and benefits of being connected to the internet. It will not be. And yeah. then like, and I was just like, because nobody wants their dis fridge or dishwasher connected to the internet. My phone is not more convenient to use than the controls on the device itself. <laughs> and I'm like, right. Like, why do I need to be like, so I at the dishwasher, I load it. I close it. Then I go sit down and get on my phone and turn it on. Like, why? Why can't I just hit on? Oh, you could do it from your seat. But I'm in front of it when I get on. If, if they came out with a way, if connecting it to the internet loaded it for me, like it oh, got the dishes out of the sink and into the, yeah. I would be on board with smart. Yeah. If you, that mother effer had hands that grew out of it and it smartly yeah. loaded the dishwasher, that's the part that needs to be smart. They send one of those Boston dynamic robots to your house. <laughs> come yeah. and load your dishwasher. Yeah, it gives you like a, a virtual Jeeves that just rolls around and like you yeah. control it. And it yeah, does yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. I, I mean, I don't have a lot of uh, smart appliances to, except for like a TV. So I'm really cool with that. I, I, I thought people would have had an issue with the idea of like something trying to advertise to you because I feel like that's really what they're going for. Oh, well, it, yeah. They're just trying to steal your data however they can. Yeah, because convenience be damned. It's not convenient to hook up most of these things. No, for the it's consumer not at all. or what feature is a goddamn stove going to give me to be connected? I can't think of one thing that's a benefit. I mean, okay, so look, if you're cooking like a Thanksgiving turkey, then you can check the temperature of the stove when you're away at the grocery store. But or it's not you smart can... to leave your oven on while you're not home, anyway. I mean, I get it, but you know, your husband's home and then you're out. I should say wife. No, your husband's home. You're out at the store. You're getting something. You, you ask him to watch it and turn the temperature down at a certain time. You can probably program that on your phone or something. I, there are things that are used to it, but I, I will admit is that it's, po it's yeah, still like, pointless. It's it, still to not your point, helpful. I think the, the, one, the one benefit of a smart device like a washer or something like that is you could have it send a notification to your phone when it's done. So you don't yeah. forget, like, like mm -hmm. you could set a timer on the stove and then it goes off on your phone. So if you're in the bedroom screwing around doing whatever, it's like, ding, ding, your chicken's done or yeah. ding, ding, your washer's done. So you don't forget to like, yeah. but or other than that, why, what is there a benefit to it in any way, shape yeah. or form? It's not helpful around the home. It's helpful to kind of minimize workload before you get home kind of thing. Yeah. And I don't even, yeah. Like, it's not like I'm going to load my dishwasher up before I go to work and then turn it on 30 yeah. minutes before yeah. I get home. Yeah. I'm not gonna put the raw chicken in the oven at like 9 a.m and turn it on at five from work right. like, i don't need i don't need the refrigerator with the uh with the video door that shows me what's in the refrigerator right oh my I, god dude. i can just look in there and be disappointed i don't need it like, televised to me well and i also i don't even see the really see the benefit of being able to monitor your thermostat from your phone like being able to turn your lights on and off if you're like, if you live in a neighborhood, it's kind of okay because you can turn on lights. But you can do that with a timer that plugs into the wall. My grandma's had one since the 50s. I know, but that's the 50s. We're not doing that anymore. <laughs> now we're on our cell phones. Right. And like, I just don't know. Like, but here's the thing. I don't ever turn the air conditioning up and down. Some people live by the like, if I'm going to go to work, I'm going to turn it up to 80. And then when I get home, I'm going to turn it back down to 70 because I'm not going to cool the house all day while I'm gone. But that's actually less efficient with energy because, like, if you keep it at a constant temperature all day, it doesn't run that often. All right. You just reassessed your boomerism and just, just slammed it home. They say it's You sound efficient. like everybody's dad right now. <laughs> Bruh. 
You want efficiency, <laughs> but you're being inefficient. <laughs> that, was the, that was the daddest comment I've ever heard. I'm a life. dad. <laughs> it, man, not really, but I am. I'm boomery doomery, dude. Like, I can't get it. It just doesn't make sense. Like, and it's here's not the efficient thing. to do that. With it just the heater. doesn't make sense. Yes, dad. We won't touch the thermostat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't touch the thermostat, dad. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't, I, I know. don't either. I mean, like I said, we we've talked about smart devices enough. Where yeah, I, I think people kind of get where we both stand on it. Let me ask you this though, okay? So, say say you build a home. I like you're, a home. Not, you're not rich, so you can't put everything in the home you want. It's not like I have two billion dollars. I'm going to build my dream home. Yes. You, you're you're yourself. You're like you know what? I'm going to buy a house, but I'd rather build it from scratch. Ooh. I have enough money for the down payment, right? Well, me myself can't really afford that. Well, but yeah, but okay. say say you could, right? Okay. Like say when you bought a house, you built it from scratch. I can afford it. Would okay. you? Yes. Would you integrate? everything the ability for everything to be smart into it or would you just say i don't care about that and i'm not going to do it i would 100 integrate everything what if it cost you an extra twenty five thousand dollars oh so you just said i could afford it so i don't care i'll do it but when it comes to house stuff people do stuff they can't afford all the time i'm just talking like we're not talking grandeur like you're putting tennis courts and shit i I don't know if i like the the, uh, pretenses of this i don't even know what that means how do i pretense you because first you told me i could afford it and just go ahead you're building a house you can afford to do it and then you're like oh if it costs twenty five thousand dollars more and i thought i had the money to build the house now you're telling me i don't have money now i'm worried now i'm stressed out for no reason and i'm disgusted yeah it costs that no it's fine um yeah, I would. I would love to have everything in my home integrated into my cell phone. I will have to say is that if the ease of integrate the, the problem with the smart devices is that you get one at a time and then you have to do all the integration yourself. Okay. But if I had one of those like rich people Kardashian super remotes, oh, you better oh, that, believe. Like, it just it was like it was like it's like uh, the old intercom system but it's like an iPad that yeah, like it's, it, yeah it, you it, take it out of the wall and you can look I can control the lights downstairs and upstairs and then I can watch YouTube on it it's like a big tablet that you can just like basically you can make calls from it you can do everything I've seen these super remotes oh yeah and you can control everything and in the house. big systems to integrate uh, everything in your house yeah, I can start music I can have music play in the bathroom you can turn song. the fish tank light on and Bruh. off you can, like... are you kidding me hell yeah I want that but I don't want it in like my 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 i don't know i don't want to have to like go out and get this device and then hook it up to my cell phone no like so if like you could build the house and on day one it's there and it's integrated perfect but you aren't going to reintegrate it into like your house later i mean if it were cost effective to have somebody come and do that that level of overhaul on the household then i would um but it's not also like the most important thing to me. Either. Yeah, I don't know. But I, I would love to have that. And I know that's a very boomery sort of like opinion to have, right? I mean, you know, be yourself, my man. Yeah, but like, if you're a boomer, but here's the be thing: boomer, if I can take that money and put it on something else that I like, instead of like having like I have like I have a Roku box. It's like <laughs> I had I had a Roku box yeah, so hooked my up mom. to my TV, She's like and then old. now I have a TV that has a Roku built in. And it's not one. It's, it's still smart, but it's not as smart as a lot of TVs it's are. It's a smart TV, but like you still trying to no, cater like, for your I, TV. No, it's not because it doesn't have like the, the weather. Listen, the TV listen. had to update <laughs> the Roku software, not the TV itself. There's still TVs updated. that have like no, dude, because I've been to like my buddies' houses. And they have, like, live weather streams going across the bottom of the TV. I mean, and they, yeah, you got to turn all that shit off. Like, I, mine doesn't even have that option. It's literally a Roku box built into the TV. So it, it's not the same as, like, as I don't even have the voice activation. I can't. There's no There's no microphone. Mm-hmm. Like In Boston, Richie didn't snitch. I don't even know what that means. It's not for you. Yeah. It's <laughs> for somebody else. <laughs> I mean, and Joan Jett. Yeah, he, <laughs> she did it too. You got it, dog. I don't know what you're talking about. I know it's 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 rap beef. It's nothing I know, you would I even know. know. I'm just being I'm just being extra. But uh, yeah, bad. Like, like I said, if it if it were something that I could get integrated so it was nice and easy, then yes. But picking up one and one and one and one and one and then try to integrate it and you got a thousand different apps because all of them use different apps. Yeah. Um, I'm good. On Although that. I'm still considering getting the Roku plugs. I don't know what that is. There's, it's just, it's like the plug you have uh, for the r- lights in the living room, but it's, it, they're plugs that you can use your phone to turn on and off rather than having a, a remote. So the batteries don't go dead. And they're Roku brand. Yeah, Roku. <laughs> Roku now has. I just saw them at Walmart the other day. Roku now has. They have smart. They have smart TVs and they have uh, 
the Roku boxes, they have outlets, indoor outlets, outdoor outlets. They have cameras, indoor outdoor cameras now. Roku's <laughs> got into like the home, the IoT game. <laughs> but but I, the only thing I would want is the um the outlets because it's the same thing as the remote control outlet you have, but like it's on your phone instead of a, a remote. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and they're and they're cheap. It's like you get like two of them for like fifteen dollars. I mean, and I'm like that's not bad at all. Like, they're cheap anyway, though. Yeah, yeah. Like so. those things have been around for a while. Amazon has theirs, and uh, yep. I don't know. I don't want. I wouldn't. You're gonna have to put an app on your phone, and guess yeah, what? That app's gonna steal your data. I know for sure. Yeah, they're <laughs> gonna see all the all the stuff I look at on the internet, like recipes. They're going to be like, oh, my God, you look at Betty Crocker recipes, yo? Yeah, recipes for cannibalisms. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. See you, think. We out.